majina yangu naitwa Dora Waruige. Dora nani? Hiyo ndiyo nataka tuasie hapo. Mwazirishi wa kikudi haramu ya Mungike. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kuna wengine nasikia sasa moyo roho imeaguka imeenda kwa tubo. Kusikia unuoria. <laughs> Mwenene wa Mungike nilianzisha Mungike nikiwa na 17 years old. Nilikuwa kipi. Si kwa sakamusaist, I was a kipi when I started this Mungike. Na nilipoanzisha Mungike, I didn't know what I was doing. Kijana ya 17 years si kijana ya 25 years atena walikaa chini wakapanga wakaambia tuanzishe kikudi i was only 17 na in my 17 years i was not even circumcised kule kwetu moro hapa hakuna baridi nashikia mnasema baridi hapa hakuna baridi huko huyu ni mtoto wa baridi shosho anakaaga moro Dio naona na shaka na shidwa mnajikuja kujikuja baka watu wale muru mnakujo haifai unafaa ku vibrate because this is the atmosphere that God and this is the angel of the Lord nilisoma mahali biblia wakasema kuna mtu alikuwa ameoba anataka kuogea na mugu akaogoja kisauti kikubwa haikukuja akaogoja hii lakini kabaridi kakakuja kumbe ni mugu alizungumza kwa hiyo kabaridi sasa mmejifunika kumbe ni mugu labda anasema sasa wacha ni kujifunika sana acha mugu aogee asikike and uh, i'm happy to be here when i started mungiki tulikuwa mimi na mtu anaitwa na watu wana nikonfisi naye sana anaitwa mainajega mainajega is my first cousin mama ya mainajega na baba yangu wametoka tubo moja Mama ya Mainajaga ndio mdogo ya kwao ndio last boy. Mama ya baba yangu ndio second last. Kwa hivyo wame ni alitoka na akatoka kama Esau na Jakofu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na mimi nilianza huko nikiwa moro naye kwa kina Mainajaga ni huko Nyahururu. Nao naye the same time we started vitukos. Mimi nilikuwa naona shaba yetu nikiangalia shaba naona badala ya kuona mahindi Nilikuwa ninaona moto ukiwaka. Mara naona watu wamesimama huko wengi. Mara naona miti mikubwa. Mara naona dege, bara naona vitu 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 vingi zilikuwa zinafanyika. But most of all, nilikuwa naona moto inawaka. Sasa ninaambia watu kule kuna chomeka. Baka nikashikwa na watazi, nikafugwa na mikanda, nikapelekwa hospitali kuangaliwa kichwa kama ni msuri. Nikaenda hata hospitali tulipofika hospitali nikawaambia huko ninaona moto. Naye Maina akiwa nyahururu naye alikuwa naona the same things vituko. Moto, moto na kuongea mingi. Maina alikuwa naogea mingi. Baka watu wakamuita VOK. Anaogea. At the same time. It happened the same time. So as Maina was doing funny things sasa ilibidi tuletwe pamoja. Yule Maina atolewa nyahururu tukaleta wajumbani kwetu moro ndio tuagaliwe vizuri na tukaagaliwa na wazee na tukaagaliwa na watu ambao walikuja wakatuagalia wakasema shianaishi ile ni goroku sasa wakakaa chini wakaanza kuuli sana kwe kwe kedo kegekoro geki kita kunaweza kuwa kuna jambo limefanyika kwenye familia wakaanza kuagalia mambo ya lorasio wakaagalia mambo ya wasimu wakaagalia mambo mingi kaagaliwa mambo ya uchawi mambo ya ago mambo ya kila kitu ikaagaliwa kukapatikana uraashio labda padi ya kina maina hawako ametoa eh, ikasembekana labda ni hiyo na upande huu mwingine wakaagalia wakakosa lakini wakasema mama yangu alikuwa maumau na baba yangu alikuwa maumau na guka alikuwa maumau kukasembekana leo nego maidesha maumau sia kwa sababu nilikuwa naongea sana kuhusu watu wa maumau nilikuwa naongea mambo ya wenye vita vizilipigano kwa kichaka nilikuwa nasema mambo ya wenye Mungu anataka Mungu wenye Mungu anataka kufanyike so we were talking about those stories and those stories they continued to elicit a lot of things kukaleto manabi kukaleto wa wakorino huyu kitabaya ya nyekudu na kitaba ya bru na kitaba ya white wote wakakuja wanaruka 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 wengine nakibia pale 
anachamua chura mwingine anakipia pale anachamua kitu kingine mwingine anachamua pale sasa ikaanza kusemekana nei ne kengoki nei rumi eh ni megabo yani kila kitu kuka kuja watu wa pefa na wakasema kuka kuja watu wengine wakasema baka kukaletwa mugaga kwa sababu hao wengine walisema lakini hawakutatua tulibaki tu vile vile wengine wanaanza kukaletwa mugaga Mugaga akakuja akazuguka tukakalishwa chini tukapakwa marangi huko tukapakwa marangi tukapakwa marangi huko kuku ikazugukwa kuka chinjo kukubiri ya waiji na ya bulagi Mugaga akasema mimi huyu hawa siwesani na wao sina nguvu ya hawa Mugaga akaeda bwana Yesu asifiwe sana so it brought a lot of confusion and uh, the whole village ikakuwa at standstill alafu hiyo kitu ikakuja ikapotea ilipopotea sasa maina na yeye akarudi kwao akapona au hakuna mtu alituabea tukapona lakini kila mtu alirudi kasa capsize na tukarudi nomo na kulikuwa kibaridi kama hii kulikuwa kuna kuja baridi ambayo haikuwa na kwea kawaida na ni kwetu tu kulikuwa karibu na kwetu area kwetu tu nakuta kwenda kefi ikali sana ile imeshikana mpaka uwezi kuona mtu wako pale na ilikuwa kwetu mpaka inaingia kwa nyumba kuna ingia nyumba yote mpaka mabedroom zote nakuta kuna hii kefi imeingia kwa nyumba na inakaa throughout kuna jua lakini kuna kefi so ikaendelea mtu mmoja tu ndio alikuja akasema chana hii ni ile roega hii ni duka tasia gai na huyo msee alipotoka hivi tukapona bwana yesu asifiwe sana kwa sababu mama yangu najua mama ni wale watu walikuwa wa maumau na watu wa maumau walikuwa na uwepesi wa kukibiria waganga kuliko kukibiria watu wa Mungu kwa sababu huko kwa kichaka walikaa na waganga walitebea na waganga kwa hivyo watu wa independent sana ukiwagalia vizuri bila ukiobea bishop hapa ukiwagalia vizuri <laughs> wako na hiyo belief ya ya huko nyuma <laughs> sana wala yote ziwe sana na ndio unaonaga haya watu wana imani kali ya kuchuka mahali hapa hata uokoke uokoke na muda gani utoke uoma utoke wapi hapa uwezi kanyaga <laughs> lakini niona amekanyaga hapa lakini enda kwake uwezi kanyaga bwana <laughs> ziwe sana unakabia kutembelea tu hapo utembea hapo hata uwapatie milioni moja hapa uwezi kanyaka sijui ni nini mnakoga mmeweka hapo lakini nitajua tu siku moja <laughs> nitajua tu <laughs> lakini bwana <laughs> sijue so ka history kangu nikikapatia na sana it is a big story na it makes people happy and it also, also disappoints people because eventually maina aliporudi kwao na mimi nikarudi kwetu tukabaki kwetu vituko zilianza pia kunifuata zingine nikabadilika nikakuwa komanda ya tuubwa ubwa zote za nyumbani ili ya hiyo yetu mahali kunaitwa mona kiabereria mochorwe mahali kunaitwa genia kukuote ubwa zote nilikuwa na zita zinanifuata nilikuwa naenda na ubwa karibu mbili zote zinanifuata tukienda kuchuga buzi buzi ngumbo zilikuwa mingi kuliko buzi and the funny thing mvua ikinyesha Niende nilale mahali hivi ubwa zote zilikuwa zinakuja zinanifunika zinakaa karibu na mimi zinanifunika vizuri nisinyeshewe na mvua they could cover me Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana because of that vp zote za huko zilikuwa zinanisikiliza hata uite yako ati but what you do kina sneak kitakujificha kina sneak kinataroka so i used to tell the mwenda mwenda nyumbani kesho kila mtu akuja na shiriki tano siku ile yako bore ile ya makona kila mtu aleta shiriki tano. Wazo usitaki kujua. Uleta shiriki tano. Na kama hautakuja na shiriki tano kesho usikuja huko. Na usipokuja tutakukujia. <laughs> so it is a mass. So walikuwa naenda wanaiba, wanalete. So I became a terrorist in my own village. Na kila mtu alikuwa anasema kijiko yako ingepotea. The first place ilikuwa inakuja kutafutwa ni kwetu. Na most likely ilipatikana huko. Kwa sababu huko ndio nilikuwa nimeweka store ya kitu yote ya wizi ile imechukua na vichana na hii usiku ile nakumbuka wale najua mulieda kwa tawana nyona katawali ya kamono motiume e motiume mwane mwagoyo e motiume sasa unakuja tunapiga drama huko ije kwa geti yako baka utuletee chapati tano 
Usiporete chapatitano tutaingia tubebe chakula na tubebe kila kitu tuende nayo. Bwana asifiwe. So that is what the life I used to live. I used to all the young men about ni vijana hiyo kilika yetu all of them followed me. They walked with me. And the dogs walked with me. And the cows mbuzi na ngobe na thege zilikuwa zinasikiliza sauti yangu. Nikisiambia nikunda kabija nilikuwa natoa nikisiambia sipote hivi. Hapo venye nisitafuta tulikuwa na nyuma zinaenda bere. Alafu nakuta kuna ubwa padi, kuna ubwa padi na kuna ubwa bere. Zinachuga hizo ngobe paka kila kitu inamba, inakamilika. Jioni tukirudi hakuna shaba ya mtu imekuliwa na busi lakini hiyo shaba ya mtu kama ilikuwa na viazi huko chini zinajua tumetengeneza nini ya viazi hivi huko chini tumechomoa viazi yote na kidole huko chini lakini unaacha moleo inasimama tu na unafunika vizuri sasa wakati wa kuvuna ndio utakuja kujua kuna watu walitebea hapa Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana haleluya lakini tuliyahakikisha busi hiita kula ndio mwenyewe asikuja kujua ati hakuna viazi so that's the kind of a life that i have found myself in baadaye tena kitu hiyo tena ikaanza kurudi tulipokuwa huko moro bado na ikakuwa kubwa na that time ndio kukatokea tribe crashes sasa hizo tumekuwa sasa tume tumekatwa tumekuwa wanaume sasa hiyo kitu sasa ikaanza kurudi in a different way katika hiyo hali ya kuambia lazima tutoke moro tuende mimi niliuliza wasasi kwa sababu mimi kwa sababu macho yote ya wazazi ilikuwa imekodolea kwa sababu walijua huyu mtu huyu mtoto anaweza kulidi watu waende wakauliwe huko so in that position nikauliza baba yangu kwa sababu baba yangu alikuwa ameanza kusema turudi moro kwao ni hapa banana kwa kina baba yangu hapo ndio kwao sasa so, nikamuuliza ureda to dieko akasema yeye ya dieko na akanichapa sirabu kwa sababu alikuwa ameambiwa chuka kijana yako na umudetain kwa sababu yeye anaweza kuinisaidia watu hapa which, which was true nikamuuliza unataka tuende wapi akaniambia tunaenda nyumbani nikamwambia nyumbani wapi akaniambia e, kuta tu mite kimea tv tu mite kuo ni wewe umite kuo sisi hatuendi na wewe wewe enda kwenu kwetu ni hapa moro nilinyoroswa na wase baka ni kafeid kwa sababu walisema not to get kihege keno kile kama udumaya na wengine wote young people the reason with me tukaanza kuulizana tunaenda wapi unafuata baba yako na ana kwao watu wala mudhuri wa fafua ni kwa nyina nike ikakuwa na argument na tuka separate wazee wakaenda kando na sisi tukaenda kando tulipoenda kando mimi nikaambia vijana tutaenda alafu kwetu ni kiabereria mali tulikuwa na hiyo maneno mali ngambo pale kunaitwa genia na mshorue tukaona wakarijini wanakuja tukasikia wameanza kuchoma manyuba wakikuja mimi nikaambia hawa vijana lazima we must face them kama ni kukufa tutakufa hapa tutazikwa hapa because this is where we belong wazee wacha tunyoroso nilinyoroswa mpaka nikafeed lakini mahali nilipata kamwanya ya kutoroka niliponyoka nikatoroka nilipotoroka ipi zote na maumbwa zote zilinifuata tukatoroka tukaenda sasa tuko mpaka na young men ambao ni wakubwa kutuliko lakini they are there with us they supported me they listened to me as a command tulipofuata nikawaambia tunaenda kuwapiga sasa hiyo huko na kimutikia ki, ki mechoka padi na paga na shield ya mabati umetengeneza hivi hii ndio ya kuzuia mukuki <laughs> na hii ni ya kuduga <laughs> lakini kumbuka yule mtu ako na spear ai nini hiyo hiyo aru anagusa anagusa kufika hapo kwa sababu we confronted them wakati waliona wakikuyu for the first time they are confronting them walisimama wakajua hawa si wakikuyu wakaweza kwa sababu walikuwa wanajua kutoka kalirikania kamwaura kiregeti na uleguruoni na kirisoyu huko walitoroka so walikuwa wanajua it's a walk over lakini walipoona kuna watu wana confront wakasimama na waliposimama wakaachilia umbwa yao walikuwa na umbwa kubwa ilikuwa inawaongoza wakaachilia ikuje kwa sababu that's what they used walikuwa wanachinja umbwa damu hiyo ya umbwa ndio walikuwa nakula kiapo nayo ndio wakuje hiyo umbwa iliachiliwa ikakuja ilipokuja mimi ndio nilikuwa nimeogosa ikakuja nilikuwa na ile kimuti yangu nikairushia ikadugwa hapa 
ikaaguka ikakufa wale walipoona hivyo walitoroka kila mtu akatoroka wakalijini wote wakatoroka tukafukuza hao tukawasukuma kali likanya mocho wao tukapeleka ule gruni baka wakatia kilicho kutoka hapo mugeke kafanyika that was the genesis of mugeke na nikakuwa hero na kutoka hapo wazee wako shaba inaitwa Kalilikania wa Maumau Nakuru District Ex Freedom Fighters Organization defo ile iko Joro na kuna hiyo ingine iko pande ya Moro wale mashaba walipatiwa wale Ex Freedom Fighters walipatiwa mashaba na kina keheka kemani na kina kalio kichotara na mkenyata sasa hao waliposikia hivyo mzee mmoja anaitwa Kesho Yan akasema ni kwara dhetu kulikuwa kumetabiriwa e, sio kwa kurado na wakristo oko kulikuwa kumetolewa unabii ya wago, wa ogaga ati kutakuja kutokea kijana mwenye atasevu wa kikuyu and that is how i became a leader of the kikuyu youth because they perfected the prophetic word from the wagaga na walikuwa wamesema kutatokea kijana na ametokea immediately nikapelekwa nikaitiwa wazee wa maumau wote walipoitwa wakakuja wakachinja ngombe inaitwa nyekundu sasa hivi ndio nimekuja kusoma nimepata inaitwa heifa wakachinja ngombe nyekundu na nikakuja nikapatiwa hizo nyama kuna venye walinifanyia nikazunguka mara saba nikazungushwa kwa kakitu mara saba nikiwa uchi bwana yesu asifiwe sana ilikuwa kiapo ya mugeke ya, ya maumau kiapo inakuliagwa na mtu akiwa uchi kwa wale wajui sasa mimi nikasugushwa mara saba nikasugushwa nikasugushwa mara saba kuna mahali unaingia unatoka kuna mahali unaingia unatoka kuna mahali seven times alafu unakula nyama hiyo hiyo mara saba unaumishwa mara saba kisha una recite words mara saba those are 21 oaths and that is how i was initiated and i became akikuyu jabaya akikuyu kwa sababu nimezima vita ambazo zilikuwa bwana asifiwe sana na kutoka hapo wazee wakatolewa wazee kumi na wawili wakaambiwa wanitembese Kenya msima kule kulikuwa na maumau tukaenda tukatoka tukaenda mura tuliansia muranga kwa mtu anaitwa Kamau kule kulitengenezwa gedheri ya rokoteni nikapelekwa huko nikachijiwa nika, nika nikatolewa nikapelekwa Kerenyaga nikachijiwa nikapelekwa Nyeri nikachijiwa Muba e, Meru kwa mtu alikuwa anaitwa mtu wa Kailanya nikachijiwa wao oh, wazee what the main leaders they slaughtered na wakani initiate sasa nika nikatambulikana this is a product of the work that was started during the mamu times and maina na wao sasa tukua nao tukaanza then this formation ya mungike ili ilikuwa first cousins ilikuwa mimi maina jack kulikuwa na waidhaka kuko na dongo kulikuwa na kamau na kulikuwa na kamunyi we were seven leaders bwana yesu sio sana kurudira hao seven leaders weka hiyo seven leaders so dilipo zuguka hivyo kuna kitu ilikuwa inanisugumusia inaniambia sasa hawa vijana ambao umeanza kukusanya uh, you need to make them together na nikasikia kitu inaniambia wapatie kiapo na nikaoletwa picha ya hiyo vile nilisuguka vile nilisuguka e, nilipotaka kufanya hivyo wazee wakaniambia dokinye tehado hako heana muuma nikaambiwa nitulie nifundishwe kwanza lakini mimi niliwakaidi na nikatengeneza kiapo yangu na, na nikatengeneza kiapo ya mugeke nilipotengeneza kiapo ya mugeke nikaanza kupatia vijana kuwapatia muuma wenye nilizuguka na wao nikawazungusha na wakaapa kwa jina langu bwana asifiwe sana walipa kwa jina langu na na mugu jina yangu na mugu a god that i didn't know whether i was true it was god in heaven or whatever but nilikuna mtu alinizungumzia na akaniambia venye na nikipatia kiapo huyo mtu alikuwa ananiambia venye nitawaambia na wanarudia na wakakuwa so royal to me they followed me they understood me hapo ndio wazee ilikuwa 90 some 90 around 290 95 96 97 hapo hivyo ndio wasee wa maumau wakasema wanataka kuona moi kule nakuru state house na wakapatiwa kibali hawa maumau na wakasema tunakuja na watoto wetu na mimi ni mtoto mmoja tulipoenda tulienda wa, wa 
wa vijana tulichipelekwa vijana mia moja na mauma wote kutoka keja mzima walipelekwa na magari ya DO na madisi wakambio wa organize wapeleke mauma wote sasa kule maumau waliambia ukienda ugugu vizuri utapata wakati maumau ilipatiwa representative wa parliament general chui ndaka kuwa nominated MP parliament siku hiyo ndiyo tulikuwa huko na waka request waka ulisa wagetaka vijana wao waanze kufudishwa tabia na mienedo ya wakikuyu moi akasema nimekubali na mimi nikainuliwa nika pereko pale kwa moi moi akaniyekelea kichwa hapa mkono na akanishika mkono akaniambia nenda uogose vijana na uwafandishe metuko mizuri na hika kuwa hivo and that is how I was coronated to become a mugeke leader by moi through these elders bwana yesu esfe sana kudorela hau mbae moi hallelujah so wikaansa mugeke sasa ikakuwa na iku na barua ya kusuguka na tukaansa kusuguka tulipo afrika nairobi tulikuwa na wazeo walikuwa na itua general kogalia general hua hua wakatupereka gedorai tulipo afrika gedorai tukakutana na general kogalia haka tu introduce kwa mutu wana itua kogonya wakakonya muna mkupu kogonya wakakonya haka tu introduce kwa kogonya wakakonya sasa unataka une metamorphosis the change of scenarios how they are changing from a kipi abaya alifanya maneno alafu wakakuja akakataana na wazazi nikakuja nikapatana na wazee wakanipatia busi kisha nikazugushwa mngobe kisha nikazugushwa nikikulishwa kula mahali nilieda ni kimeru kiapo ya meru ilikuwa tafauti nilikula ya kirenyaga nilikula ya nyele nilikula ya muranga nilikula ya nyadarwa pia nilikula bwana asifiwe sana so kutoka hapo tukashikana na gonya wakakonya gonya sasa akaanza kutufundisha kukula tubako na kutoa guo uvuge shuka alafu kutoboa masikio na kuweka hizi menyororo hapa ya hapa sasa tukafuga mimi nikakata nikaseba vijani kabia hawa tutigotora mato <laughs> kwa sababu nilisikia niliona mmoja venye ametobolewa nikasema hapana hizi zitawezana nayo nikamwambia masikio hatutatoboa lakini tufanye ujaja yetu kwa sababu tulikuwa tumesoma na haa hawajasoma tukaambia tuvute tubako tubako nikakubaliana nayo lakini kuna interpretation niliwapatia nikaambia ndio hawa watu wasitujue ile kitu tumefanya tukule tubako wewe ni akupulitedi tuko na wao because nikwambia wacha tusome hawa sasa ni nini wako nao sasa tumetoka kwa maumau tumepatiwa tumeingia kwa dini maumau si dini maumau is a movement but sasa tumeletwa kwa gonya is a high priest ya mkikuyu ni dini eh alikuwa church yake ilikuwa na ista the church the tent of the living god hema ya gai motora moyo hema ya gai lakini haikuwa hema hema ya gai motora moyo <laughs> hema ma ya gai the truth <laughs> and this truth it is to say yeso ni mwizi yeso ni kiheki ya mariam yeso ni mokora yeso ni mvugo hiyo that is the truth hema ya gai mutura muoyo bwana ni wagosho so and the dark doctrine wakaanza kutufundisha initially we were christians we were not kikuyu hiyo mambo ya kikuyu tukizugushwa hivyo tulikuwa tunaedaka kanisa za pefa so we were christians we were not the mugiki hiyo ya ya mgonya wa konya but we maintained the identity tukakana gonya tukakana gonya mpaka gonya akakuja akajua these people are not with me these people are pretending maana kuna siku tulimwambia tutamunyorosa tulikuwa ndio tumetrain taekwondo tumetrain mavitu vingi tukamwambia tutakunyorosa kwa sababu kuna siku alituambia eh, tupeleke nilikuwa na girlfriend na huyu girlfriend alikuwa hajatairi sasa kusemekana my girlfriend lazima tairiwe girlfriend kakalia kakasema kataniacha nikasema na mimi sitakubali uniwache naye akasema kama utaki ni kuache protect me msitairishwe sasa nikasema sasa nitavuja protocol girlfriend yangu hata tairishwa so tuka face ngonya head on tukasema gotire tutiraliwa <laughs> sasa ngonya naye akapaka venye akutufukusa tukapagiwa maneno tukafukuswa tulipofukuswa tulipatana na mtu mmoja anaitwa Gegi Mwigai 
huyu gagi mwigai wa kina Kenyatta alikuwa Bruce House for three wakatuita wakasema usijui nani alipeleka ripoti yetu huko ati kuna vijana na wanaonekana wako na akili fulani kwa sababu we were talking of liberation we were talking of liberating this country we were talking lakini tumekuwa tukipitia classes different classes kutoka moro tumekuja tumekuwa transformed into a cultural outfit because when from moro we were not a cultural outfit we were jabashi already to protect the mugekoyo bana sifwe san but once tulifika kwa konya tukakuwa a cultural outfit tukaanza kuogelelea mambo ya culture mambo ya circumcision mambo ya kutoboria masikio mambo miki miki ambayo it was primitive mimi nikaambia watu kina maina nikaambia this is primitive tutikoni wabake lakini tukafanya tuka resolution tubako inaweza kutufanya tuende bali kwa sababu tutachukuliwa ni wajiga tu na ili tusaidia maana tulichukuliwa tuliendea kufuta tubako tukiitwa wajiga to mode tulato wabake na tukazuka tukafanya mambo kubwa sasa tukipopatana na kinagonya tuka change again ah yeah, gag tuka change tukakuwa a political outfit ya kutumiwa na hawa ina hii familia ya Kenyatta na walitutumia kulikuru kwa sababu already tulikuwa tumeanza tulikuwa tumetengeneza group kubwa wakatupatia pesa tukaanza gari yangu ya kwanza ilinunuliwa na hiyo familia na nikakuwa mtu yao maina kanunuliwa gari na mimi nikanunuliwa gari hapo hapo sasa tukaanza kulikurut any mass tulipo recruit any mass tukakaa vizuri tukakaa vizuri lakini sasa group ikaendelea kuogeseka tukauli sana for how long are we going to be staying idle bwana yesu asifiwe sana for how long nikapia vijana we cannot be able to go inside tukasema now what you are going to do we must make money and because we are rejected because the government ilikuwa imeanza kuvuruta antennas na tumekuwa rejected nikaambia we are going to live a rejected out group tutakaa hivyo tu msikubali tupedeke nikaambia wacha tuchukiwe ndio hata nisikisikia wajubiri wana nikataka taka kidogo na joka am in the right track nikikuja nipata wahubiri nyote mmenikubali hiyo kitu naondoka kwa pole pole na sitawaambia nimeenda kwa sababu nimejua i'm not needed there when you are rejected when you are opposed you are in the course ile kazi Mungu amekufutuma ufanye iko right because if you find you are in bed with the devil at kila mtu amekubali kila mtu amekupigia makoti makofi then you are in bed with the devil if the devil is not fighting you then you must be a good friend to him bwana asifiwe sana so never allow ukienda mahali uone umekubalika take note asa kuchugusa hao watu ukirudi nyuma because kuna kitu wanakuchorea <laughs> sana. So, so when, uh, <laughs> when I see sana. So while in that I organized nikaambia sasa we must make money and this money you're going to make we are not going to make in a good way. We must conquer. That's the name I remember kitu nilitumia we must conquer these people. Tukauli sana what are they doing? And what can we do to make money? Tukasema tunaweza kuokota takataka kwa manyuba namba 2 tuweke security namba 3 tuweke tuchukue matatu za watu sababu most of our members walikuwa matatu 19 ruti ya kayole 1960 kaliobagi huko so nikawaambia what we are going to start with first ni ku conquer homes na nikawaambia wata tutaokota wata, chafu takataka kutoka kwa nyumba zao tukanunua makaratasi we were in madhare and i commanded tukasema kila nyumba lazima ipate hii karatasi na waweke takataka wapi na jioni watupatie twedi bob watu walianza resistance wakasema eh hey, nini haiwezekani tukachukua yule mtu ambaye anajulikana vizuri huko na alikuwa mchugaji na ndiye ndiye alikuwa na mdomo mwiki ya kusema hawa ni wakora tukashika tukaenda tukaficha tulikana nayo wiki mzima bwana asifiwe sana na ripoti kaachiliwa amekufa sasa watu waliposikia mchugaji amekufa na yeye ndiye alikuwa msemaji kila mtu akatii <laughs> Sasa saa kumi na mbili tulikuwa tunazunguka madhara msima tuliokota twedi bob twedi bob siku hiyo tulitengeneza 500,050 that gave us ikatupatia morale kutoka hapo tuka terrorize madhara tukaingia dadora tukaingia kayore tukaingia kaliobagi kote 
you must hata kama hauna takataka tengeneza yako weke hapo kwa sababu utakuja <laughs> bwana zikuwe sana lakini mchukaji tuliachilia baadaye akakuja akawaambia mimi niliona kifo tulienda tukachota damu hapo 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 jiro ya busi tukaenda tukamwambia tukafunika kichwa vizuri tukaficha vizuri ya busi tukamwambia ni ni mtu <laughs> na watakufa na hiyo damu yake na ndio tunakunywa <laughs> akasikia akarudisha ripoti kwa mimi ndio nile walichicha mtu wakakula na wakakunywa damu <laughs> sasa waliposikia hivyo kila mtu aliti tukakonga hiyo maeneo ya ya kuokota takataka namba 2 tukachukua matatu zote tukazuia matatu zote nikasema zifugwe hakuna kufanya kazi if we ulete matatu weke pale nitatoa driver nitatoa makaga ni wagu si wako we ongoja pesa nyumbani gari yako ninataka pesa gapi shilingi 10000 zikochea nyumbani hata wa matatu wakaleta shida polisi wakakuja wakasema hatuwezi hatuwezekani tukachukua matajiri gapi bili tukaficha si tulipata ile story ya madhale tukaona inafanya kazi tukachukua matajiri bili tukaficha tulipo ficha hawa ikine wote akasema nyie diko dawa kuwa ndio ala ziana and we conquered them remember those words i will con- let's conquer them and we conquered all the matatus finally tukachukua security ndio ulisikia tulikuwa tunaitwa vigilante bwana yesu asifiwe huko huko kulikuwa kila mahali kulikuwa na vigilante we created insecurity ndio tulete security tuka terrorize kama hapa kwa bila tuka terrorize tuka terrorize wakasema polisi wakakuja wakasema kuna wakora wamekora tukakuja tukaweza tukaogea na chifu tukamwambia hawa vijana wote naweza kusugumusa na wao waweke security sisi ni wao waliterrorize sasa tuka chifu akagia box akakubali tukafanya nini tukapatiwa nafasi ya kuchuga immediately miraculously security kaingia automatically kila mahali security hapo ndio tulifugua koti tukaanza koti tulikuwa na koti yetu e, mogeke court na kila mahali hapo kia dutu hapa huko e, kwa bila kila mahali dadora kali pale tulikuwa tume capture we had a court and a court tulikuwa na askari wetu wa jera bwana yesu asifiwe sana na tulikuwa na askari wa french court sasa hata watu wote dadora wali prefer kwa sababu was hours was instant unahukumiwa hapo hapo kama umekosana na bibi yako na leto hapo upatikana na, na, na makosa biboko 25 bere ya bibi yako na tutakuwa tukisikiliza sasa miji yote everywhere watu waliti this discipline kaigia na tukapiga marufuku unywaji wa pombe ilikuwa namba 1 namba 2 tukapiga marufuku usilale na mwanamke ambaye si bibi yako ukapatikana ulilala na mwanamke lazima umuoe <laughs> lazima usherati tukamalisa na badhiri kuogea uogo ama kufanya kitu ambayo ni against our organization bibo kwa 75 bwana yesu asifiwe sana na ikizidi kichwa inaenda so hiyo tutaweka sheria na sheria ikakuwa maeneo yetu hakukua hata hapa wale walikuwa hapa hakukua na hiyo maneno ya ulevi na nini tulimaliza na madawa ya kulevia but remember we are still an illegal group because whatever we are doing we are forcing and we are commanding bwana asifiwe naona mumestuka sana can i change the topic naje naweza kuwa naogea nikifikiria niko kumbe ni watu wanatoroka you underlining <laughs> and then ya kwa underline so eventually tukaendelea hivyo tukaingia march into politics because we had the number and uh, tukaanza kufanya kazi na moi at some time jaga wa karume ndio alitupeleka wakiwa na geshoro ndio alipeleka kwa moi tukaenda tuka make peace na moi moi akaanza kutupatia kututumia kufanya mavituko na eventually na mr joseph kagudi kiuliza kagudi sasa nitakupatia story mzuri wakakaa chini as nsis as the government and the resorted wakasema hawa watu hatuwezi kupigana na wao tuwashike lakini the built with the leaders good lakini wakakuwa ruthless to the members alafu wakapanda wakaweka watu 
ndani ya members wakakuja wakakuwa ma leaders ma chairman ma kila mtu sasa hao ndi walikuwa wana commit crime wanachoma manyumba wanachoma magari za watu wanakuja hapa wanaua watu ndio kusemekana ni mugeke hata wale walikuwa kule Karatina hawakuwa mugeke walikuwa serikali wa NSIS ndio walifanya hiyo pade hii ya Karatina na pade ya Kirenyaga wale ulisikia kuna watu 22 waliuliwa Kaliobagi ilikuwa government siku hiyo walipado na ndio nakuambiaga kama sasa hapa najua wako na wata, wanaandika tu wakipeleka ripoti wanaandika wapeleke lakini sasa uzuri sasa wanajua ni miokoka wamekuja mpaka kanisani <laughs> na wanazikilizaga vizuri which is very good a government without those people ndio hao ndio masikio na ndio macho na ndio roho ya serikali so they must report mtu kama mimi anafaa kuangaliwa vizuri kwa sababu <laughs> <laughs> eh bwana azihua sana so we did all those things not because we had a plan to do them but because there is something that was pushing us towards that so immediately when we took over the mother the dora the kariobagi watu wa nigeria took a great hope in the young people na wakaona kuna availability ya kazi nika draft kitu kingine nikauliza ni kwa nini waidi wame dominate nairobi town tukabiana hapa lazima tujue namna gani mimi sasa nikaanza ku draft nikaenda duka ya muhidi nikakuta duka ni muhidi tomboya yote nikahesabu nikaona ni waidi 150 wami occupy my building hizo zote nikaenda moyi avenue nikaenda kule chini river road ni waidi tupu wami occupy manjuba kubwa kubwa nikabia vijana why can't we make use of these houses because mtu mmoja nyumba moja hii kubwa hivi wakasema hapana so tukaenda duka moja ya muhidi moja tufanye test nikakuta anauza viatu za white hizi za sports eh, za white leather hii ya white eh, iyo viatu walikuwa wanauza shilingi 1000 tukafanya research zilikuwa zinatengenezwa in Australia tukajua amenunua shilingi 500 mimi nikatuma vijana nenda in Australia because tuko na pesa tukaenda tukanunua factory musima na 555 tukakuja tukaweka kwa duka hiyo muhidi wale watu walikuwa nauza viatu tunaweka hapo ije na tunatengeneza hapo ndio nilitengeneza kitu inaitwa platoon platoon ni 10 men na hiyo platoon ya 10 men ndio kagudi alichukua kapelekea serikali ndio nyumba kumi nyumba kumi is a mungeke initiative bwana yesu asifiwe sana so the 10 men are organized 10 ni ya kuchuka kajo isikuje na kupigana na muhidi na ngine 10 men ni ya kuuza viatu na tukauza hiyo viatu 1000 shillings stuke pumzika kidogo mami na tukauza kiatu 1000 shillings huko muhidi anauza 3000 tukazuia mtu kuingia kwa duka ya muhidi na tukafuga kabisa kuna mtu kuingia na wahidi walipo kwa sababu walipigia simu kajo ndio ikuje itushike tutoke hapo kajo niko na 10 men wako nyorosa kajo wakati kajo walikuja wakanyoroswa muhidi akiona kwanza waliigiswa ndani ya duka ya muhidi wakanyoroswa muhidi akiona muhidi za furing dia kafuga duka na akapotea hiyo hapo tukatafuta mwenye nyumba tukamuuliza hii nyumba tunaitaka akatupatia tukakatakata stalls tukaeka nyumba moja kaingia watu 200 hiyo ikatupatia murali tukafukuza waidi wote Nairobi tukaweka vijana na stalls mimi ndio nilianzisha stalls and we did an economic revolution bwana yesu asifiwe sana haleluya but in all these things uh, it was not me we never sat down to discuss it was not a manifesto it was not a strategic plan we found ourselves doing it but let's go back tuache tuweke hapo full stop kidogo turudi nyuma when i recent back to organize to kaona sasa mungike imekuwa an outfit we were mungike leaders the leaders we were seven and we were all first cousins my grandfather is waroinge na my grandfather ndiye alianzisha maumau after coming from bama walipopelekwa bama kwenda kupigana na waitaliano wakaenda wakapiga risasi muitaliano wakaona kumbe msugu anakufaga maana wakitoka hapa walikuwa wanajua msugu akufagi 
ndio nasikia kwa kabla anasemanga mosongo no tanga no tangai kwa sababu hakufagi wakienda bama ndi waliyalia rais musuku kuje anakufaga walipiga risasi kaona kameruka juu kakaaguka chini akapiga kingine kakaruka juu kakaaguka chini wakajua adwa ni makuaga walipokuja they came with a formation we are going to fight for our country by grandfather wakashikana na kemadi wakashikana na madege wakashikana na itotia wakashikana na mwariyama mm, they were seven and all of them they were first cousins the seven maumau generals all of them they were first cousins remember mugeke nayo imeazishwa na waruigi and all of us we were first cousins that is where ni mefanya na nitakuelezea mambo mingi nimefanya as we are preaching bwana sifiwe so mnajua mimi ni mungeke former mungeke are you now satisfied wale walikuwa na taswishi <laughs> underlying that <laughs> underlying that therefore this man who started uh, mau mau is my grandfather who founded the oath of mau mau uh, he was general wenge alianzisha after bama thing much alikuja galiuliwa hapa rali alipigwa na bomb because he was the most dangerous so the mzugu walitafutana na yeye kabisa baka wapiga yeye na bomb hapa rali na wakati wa moto wa rali he was there so immediately uh jews baadaye many many years down the line when i came to be the mungike leader na nikaokoka niliokokea kwa mtu anaitwa james maina nganga neno bachelis in center pale gara the new by night of bavesh on kwa basement that is where god saved lakini tulikuja tukakosana na yeye najua ni mtu wa vituko tulikosania kitu moja yeye ana kama jana tulikuwa naye na nilimwambia wewe ni wahetairia mno wewe wewe daddy no ni wahetairia because he never removed mungike in me he progressed mungike in me bana yesu asifiwe sana because what he did immediately i got saved on thursday on friday tulikuwa on sunday tulikuwa tononoka ground na katagasa yule aliyekuwa mugeke leader ambaye ameokoka amefika Mombasa watu kiwaja ilijaa kuja kuona mugeke tukatoka hapo tukaenda Kisumu watu wakajaa tukaenda Nakuru afra stadium watu wakajaa tukaenda Eldoret 64 stadium watu wakajaa then i continuously continuously to grow knowing that i am the one that is pulling the crowd it is not nganga so the mungiki notion in me continued to grow it continued to become bold and bold baka nikaanza kuona kumbe nganga hakuna kitu ako naye and that is where preachers we go wrong when a person like me gets saved in your church you use that popularity of me to grow your church not at the expense of destroying what is in me because i became to realize i am the one mimi ndio nimefanya kanisa because again hiyo kiwanja amejanga hapo ni mimi nilimpatia ilikuwa kiwanja wangu si unajua mimi nilikuwa commander viwanja wote ya Nairobi ilikuwa yako sasa mimi ndio nilimwambia jaga kanisa hapa hii hapa pima na nikapumia 1 2 hapo amejaga nikampimia nikamwekea weka kanisa hapa nitakuchuga na nika akakataa kidogo nikamwambia kwa sababu nilikuwa na pesa nikaeba huko idastia Kambara Road kuna duka kuna kampuni inauza chuma inaitwa Apex nikanunua chuma zote na mabati tukajaga nyumba ya Mungu hapo I was so happy because I was a Christian na nilikuwa nafanya hiyo yote kwa maana nimepata at last I found my peace at last because I was terrorist the other side na nilienda polisi nilishikwa I've been to prison 52 times na nimepigwa mali sasa 12 na nimehukumiwa kunyogwa mara mbili mashini imekataa Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na nilipokuwa remember one day I was shot mpaka maskari wakaacha kama nimekufa na walipoenda kiladrofa kikaitwa kikuja kinichukue maskari wale walikuja kunichukua unajua friends code nilikupiga na kweda wanaita nani na askari wa uniform tunawaita askari wa boot boot 
e, wakakundi wakuje waweke kwa radrova wapeleke moshari walipokuja kuninua tu waliona nimejijoda hivi kila mtu akapotea because they knew this man is dangerous baka polisi walikuja kuniokota wote wakatoka na mimi nikatoroka <laughs> i don't know how i became alive again because i know I, nilikuwa nimekufa lakini venye nilifufuka i don't know so in that process wakati nimeokoka nanga never take, took me hakuni moa hakuni toa mungiki aliniwekelea kwa platform na nikaendelea kuona the power of mungiki in me in pulling the crowd in the church so mpaka nikiwa kwa church kwa sababu watu wengi walikuja they were listening to me nikisimama hapa hivi unaona umachu wote unakuja unataka kunisikiliza hata wengine wanakuja kuniangalia waone kama mahali ni pembe zilikatwa ama mahali mkia because some people believed nilikuwa na mkia na wengine will believe nilikuwa na horns others believed i was not a human being nilikuwa kikedo kinyamoro huo kitaraere because the, the, the everybody alikuwa na niogopa kuna mnakumbuka mama kuna siku nilisema msivae msistrosa na mimi nisikat kenya msima na mkuva na nilizungumza tu niko kwa nyumba hamkuva na ni kenya msima baka kisumu baka mato kila mahali mama alikaa kwa nyumba hawakutoka na tulipiga loud kwa gari ya Nairobi kama kuna mama anatembea tembea hakuna mama alitembea na niliogelea tu kwa nyumba so, so that power hiyo power bao nilikuwa nayo na nga hakuingoa na hiyo ndio makosa ya mapasta tunakuaga nayo you find a person like me then you glorify me you glorify the demon that is in me instead of removing that demon so the demon continued to grow baka siku moja nanga anakuja ananiita anaita watu wanakataa kuenda wananisikiliza nanga kaza kuona kamodo ya kodi ya kanisa nanga kaza sasa hiyo maobi ile ile maobi wa pastor mnakuaga nao ya uchawi kwanza kunipiga na mimi nikajua nilipojua nikaenda kwa office nikamwambia sasa nikae trola ni yamu nene <laughs> kwa mimi najua watu hao wako kanisa ni wagu wamekuja kwa sababu yako si kwa sababu yako tumeenda tunanoka nimejaza kiwaja tumeenda huru park nimejaza kiwaja nimeenda ile nimejaza kiwaja uliki torora nia so i felt like i can open my church remember i'm still mungiki sije hukuka vile kwa sababu hajanitoa hakunipeleka class hakunifundisha hakuniambia kunyanyakea hakuniambia this that kingdom is not the same as this kingdom so i became a bull by myself and i bullied him na nikamwambia mwe wewe si dira to kuikarani na la immediately ukikumbuka kuna siku alisemanga my life is in sedja alizipeleka police sema <laughs> akaambia na polisi tulikwambia akaambia go and search your problem tulikwambia mwanga alikibia America kidogo kwenda kupumzika nikaamua tu nitoke huko lakini kabla ya kuamua niliamua mambo ya kanisa sitaki because nimeona this is bullshit na nikaambia vijana wale tulikuwa tumeokoka sababu tulikuwa tunatafutwa tunapigwa uh, then tulikuwa kina Moigai kina nani hawa watu waibaji unaona waibaji pro za kikuyu wote walikuwa mugeke sasa tuka tukaabiana wale wa krimi na sasa tukaambia haturudi mugeke tukirudi mugeke mainajeka na tukoja tuue bwana asifiwe sana na yeye alikuwa serious akina waidhaka wao ndio hako ni hapa chi kina waidhaka kina kamau dongo wote walikuwa nataka kutu wale sasa tulisaliti wakaanza kututafuta serikali imejua i'm not strong i'm not in the church really na serikali kafuta elio nikaanza kutafutwa na mimi nikaambia vijana we are going to die but we are going to die like men wale sasa group nikatengeneza group dogo nikaambia we are going to die for sure we are going to die lakini tutakufa kama wanaume na nikaambia tutakufa tukiwa matajiri hatutarudi huko tena kwa mugike kuvuta tubako tutaingia bama hizi mabangi na matajiri watatupatia pesa na tukaanza operation lakini operation ya kwanza nilikuwa nimeamua first thing first hawa mabishop wanajiita mabishop na mapasta we must do something about them because tumeona hii ni fake nanga nimeona ni fake venye ametutumia nimeweka pesa yangu yote huko nimeacho maskini i spend like that 5 million nimebacho maskini 
Sasa nikajua wewe nanga na mabishop wezako I'm going to show you a story. Sasa nikamwambia pesa ya kwanza tutaiba. Tuende isiri tununua buduki. Na tukaiba pesa, tukavuja banki moja hapo town. Na tukaingia ndani tukatoa pesa. Tulikuwa tunasimama pale. Mimi matraini komando. Kusimama barabara na nitakutoa kwa jicho hivi. Nipime jicho yako katikati ya watu nitakutoa jicho. So nilikuwa na kikosi strong. Powerful strong. Tukabina haturudi kwa mugeke na haturudi kanisa lakini mabishop wote lazima tuue hawatadanganya mtu mwingine na tukanunua buduki tuliponunua buduki ndio tu, tulikuwa tuwapige on a sunday wakiwa kwa pulpit kama hapa tunaingia hapa mimi nikuje bishop wa hapa tuambia eh hey, mwanae pokea hivyo <laughs> ndivyo tulikuwa tumeambiana nikumpokeza pokea <laughs> Wote, we were to, it was an operation that was to be done in one day. Fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, maybe let's call it fortunately, or we call it unfortunately, because God has His own ways of doing things. We to live a bank moja apo na to kapata fifty million to kanunua isa abitu. Immediately to kaitua kazi gine. Ya bagi gine hapo Rivarodi likuwa inaitua Bakiris hapo Rivarodi. Na tulipo itua hiyo kazi gine, tukasema, tuka tutobe totike kumorara, tutobe totike kumorara ishi. Nasa hiyo tuka postponed hiyo Sunday. Kwa sababu, hiyo operation ilikuwa ifanyike between Wednesday paka Friday. One day. Na tuka paka, tuka eda huko dani, tuka agaria venye takuja kufamia, kuna takuja kushika. Tukiwa kama hali hapo, vijana hawa igini wakaniabia, I used to lead. Najua, Mwizi wa hizi wale wanaibaga pesa wale wana juaga wanakulaga ile pesa miki ni wale waliingia kwa jiko kule dani mahali pesa ilitolewa kwa sababu hao ndio wanajuaga the actual ndio wanatokaga nayo wanaingia kwa gari ndio wanajuaga the actual figure sasa hao ndio watakuambia ni 10 million ama ni 5 million na mtakubali kwa sababu amuku wa huko na kila mwizi anatakanga kuendia kwe hapo ndio na ndio nanga polisi akikuja kama hapa kuibiwe pesa kitu ya kwanza polisi wanakuja kuuliza wale wa area Maku wa shigana. Diyo kwa sabu, ukiona wizi mifanyika hapa, kuna polisi wanajua. It is an inside job. Polisi wanakuwaka wanajua. So, kuna polisi katha wanajua. So, wanakujaga kitu ya kwaza wanakujaga. Kino yu gari mekuja. Vuu, mesimama. Mamiba gapi? Yu diyo swali ya kwaza. Diyo akonifamu. Akienda huko, kukutana, anasema nikumi. Nyote yetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Haleluya. So nikaambiwa na hao wengine wote vijana we were used to be eight. Nikaambiwa na hao vijana wengine uh, wewe hautaingia leo. Wakasema wewe kaije utuchugulie utu kwa sababu hapa ni free na hapa kuna kuwaga na polisi wengi na wewe ndio master mzuri mwenye kucontrol hapa hiyo ta control. Nikabishana nataka kuingia. Because najua hapa nitarushwa na tukua tumiabua ni fote hiko dadi na nitakuja kuabua ni tuwedi na hawa higini wataeda na mukibisha na sana unapigwa unakogwa unabio wacha tuletea ujika unakichwa hapo so wakitukabisha na tukabisha na argument ya ikubali ya itakikagi sana kusabu utagusha mchezo na nikakubali nilipo kubali nilika kuna nyumba inaitua menegai wakati unajua hiyo nyumba inaitua menegai si hiko na kodi demika hivi na hiyo begi ilikuwa pari E, kwa na Ronald Gala na, na Rivarodi hapo simeshikania, hapo diyo begi hiyo hiko sasa tukiwa hapo nikakaa kwa korido nae Harrison, tekanisi ya Harrison nganga hiko hapo juu za Harrison, ni, ni, ni ikuwa round saa sita na nusu hivi sa operation is about to start nae Harrison diyo huyo anapada kadi ya gari ya kaona ni mutu wanajua na mini kwa korido na jifanya tu ni kamurana na kula lakini liko job ni kukaria na gari ya kule giraudi venye meka nanga katiambia dona modo ta modo kare walo igi ni kama bia mse chipe shuguri because sasa ni miaza kujulikana na ufai kujulikana haka nyusa walo igi ni kama bia mse utafalari si uchipatia shuguri kusa pusambi ya hiyo na umiaza kujulikana na mudo na kusugumusia haka niabia mimi naitua bishop nanga ni kama bia please with all due respect taje hera lua limo Nanga aliniwekelea tu mkono hapa kwa bega yagu. Nikasikia radio. Pa! 
ikanipiga nikakufa pati moja yote ikakufa mimi venye nilijikuta kwa ofisi sijui kwa nana tukiwa kwa ofisi kufika tu hivi nikasikia sauti chini pa 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 vijana wangu saba wote wakauliwa kumbe ile kazi tulipatiwa na watu wa NSAS kwa sababu alijua mahali ya kukamata warige sasa imepatikana tutampiga kwa simu <laughs> kwa ndio Kenya msima ibilivu huyu mtu akua msuri wote wakakufa sasa kuchukulia hivi nikaona he jeshi yako ni akua nikaambia nanga sasa tulikuwa tumekuja hapa na maneno imeharibika hata kiagalia niko nayo hapa na niko na ikini hapa nanga alinitoa huko kwa Oma kuna ofisi pale sasa tuko na bishop wa Oma akanitoa akanirudisha kwa hall <laughs> kaniambia tuito kale ya hall ile kwa sababu alijua hapa tukikuta kwa ofisi itasemekana tulikuwa pamoja lakini yakikuwa kwa kanisa gani atasemekana <laughs> itoka huko <laughs> kwa hivyo kwa hivyo ni kwa akanirudisha huko akanipeleka mimi nilijipata kwa kona kama ile i prayed kutoka saa saba baka saa kumi na bili. the ever time i've ever prayed genuinely underline that the only time i ever prayed genuinely ni siku that sile because niliomba nikajikuta niko heaven kwa sababu nilienda nikajikuta tuko na kina Musa tuko na kina Abraham tuko na hao wote nilitembea na wao na walilikuwa wali nikafika nikapikwa ikafika mpaka kwa Yesu akanipatia kitabu kubwa imeandikwa ni sahi kitabu ni ki, ki, kama dunia hii uh, ilikuwa na makaburi imejaa sasa huyo akaniambia hawa watu wote wamekufa kwa sababu yako akanipeleka kwingine akafungua akanyonyesha wengine akadia hata wote wewe ndio umefanya wakufe akanisa wengine hawa wote wewe ndio umefanya wakufe akaniambia lakini you can change akanifungulia kitabu kingine hii, hii makaburi akaiagusha hivi nikaona wale wote ni young people young people young people ndio wako wakafufuka akaniambia inua mkono yako hivi nikainua wakafufuka wote akaniambia nedo kawasaidia that is how i came back bwana yesu asifiwe sana nikakuja nikajikuta kwa kanisa ya nganga saa 12 kanisa ya nganga kubwa nganga alikuwa amepatia watchman hapo ali kia koho yali muna gere giri komi na hiyo washman kubwa alikuwa kwa mugeke <laughs> na mimi nilikuwa komada yake walipojua huyu ni komada walinichuga kaita wengine wakanichuga na wakatafuta gari gine ikakuja nyuma ya nyumba yake nikateremshio kale unajua zile nyumba za huko chini ni zile ziko na kaspiro kale ka kastea ka, ka kaspiro nikateremshio huko nyuma nikaingia kwa taksi taksi nikaenda nikafika ile choko palibu kwa wajiro inaitwa kacho na banane nikaruka hapo kwa choo nikatoa buduki zangu nikaweka kwa mafidani nikaweka kwa mafidani nikaingia kwa gari nikaenda that is how i get born again second time bwana yesu asifiwe sana so there is a transition in life that it must happen to you i respect that whether people will understand you or not understand you the kingdom of heaven is not meant to make people understand you It is only the kingdom of heaven to understand you and subject you to its kingdom and its processes you come and do the will not the plan of people. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And that is what makes me bold to come and stand before you because I'm not doing your will and I will never do your will and I will never walk with you because of your will. I will only walk in the will of God. I will never seek you to appreciate me to follow me to understand me to kunipeda msinipeda but i know i'm in the will of god because i am a test to that i've seen it i've seen the power of god i've seen god can transform can change and since then my life changed since then my things everything changed now i was grounded harrison took over me akanipeleka class akanifundisha and he told me never go to steal again never go to do this i'll be paying harrison paid for my house rent for one full year Every Friday nilikuwa naenda kuchukua 25000 shillings for my upkeep. He took me to class. That is when he came to reveal to me that day alikuwa amefunuliwa na Mungu atakutana na waroige. Hata wakati tulikuwa tunafanya tunafugua kanisa yangu alirepeat that statement that it God who revealed himself that atakutana na waroige. So his fear was itakuwaje. 
the third very day alipoona warigi na kaona warigi alikuwa sasa alishikilia roho kwa sababu ilikuwa imeteremka ikaguka kwa tubo he didn't know what to do with me he didn't know what would happen akapiga watu masimu akawaambia sasa warigi yuko hapa na inaonekana kama sasa ndio mwisho ya dunia yetu tunaenda kukufa maana kutaja jina warigi ni sawa na kutaja siti moshari bwana asivue sana sasa tumekuwa hapa mmekuja mkiwa na tasishi na mungu mmoja iko ije na mumeacha geti pale iko sawa sawa <laughs> ili kesa kwenye ni venye mtaponyoka <laughs> it was not my will i didn't go to school to be taught what i did i went to school yes but i was never taught i was taught history i was taught geography i was very good in school i had a straight a bana yesu sasa sana i dropped to school after that after form 4 i didn't go to college but i later nilirudi the college nikasomea in Nairobi university i got three good degrees bana yesu sasa sana and i've never i've never used my end of my education to feed me because i've tried it has failed i've tried to live a normal life it has failed i have tried even marriage it has failed i have tried to live like you guys it has failed i find myself doing funny things so bear with me nivumilie ni tu munivumilie tu ni nene what god has told me to come and say he speaks to me he comes me he comes to me he tells me what to do bana sifue sana and in this process i have been able to go nataka kuchanganya chakanya maswali ndio mpate maswali ya kuniuliza during those time wakati nilifukuswa sana na serikali i was able to run out of the country wakati they said shoot waroige on site simulisikia hiyo na mkaambia 40 million imetolewa whoever that kills waroige akujie 40 million lakini ni nani ni nani huyo agekaribia waroige ni nani kuna wao gepatiwa buduki ni karibia ugekuja ugekuja it was just a smoke lakini nilipotea nikatoroka nikaenda Tanzania nilipotoka Tanzania nilienda Mozambique nikatoka Mozambique nikaenda Pretoria nikatoka Pretoria nikaenda Windhoek nikatoka Windhoek nikaenda Angola Angola ile nyingine nikatoka Angola nika, uh, Congo 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 Brazzaville nikatoka Brazzaville nikaenda DRC nikatoka DRC nikaingia Rwanda and in all those i was training wakati wote I was training and I was lucky tulipofika Dar es Salaam tulivunja bengi moja inaitwa RCC na tukaiba equity ya huko na tukatoa pesa na tukapata pesa sasa ya kutupeleka peleka huko tukaenda mtu wa bangi akienda anywhere in the world you give him one hour atakuwa amekutana na mtu wa bangi fero mtu wa bangi huko na ametengeneza urafiki na mwizi the same anywhere I went tulipofika Dar es Salaam nilikutana na waizi na nikakuta ni wakikuyu wengine hapo na tukaorganize na tukachukua pesa ya banki tulipochukua pesa ya banki tukaenda Mozambique tukaenda tukapata tajiri mmoja ambaye alikuwa na migodi mingi na pesa alikuwa anaweka kwa nyumba tukaenda huko Mozambique kuiba hiyo wizi mkubwa it is an hard of kasa ata pesa inaweka huko na nobody can take it so tulienda na tukamtebelea na tukachukua some good money about za Kenya zilikuwa about 50 million tukatoka hapo tukaenda Pretoria tukaenda mahali inaitwa Sun City wale wameenda ya Pretoria kuna sehemu inaitwa Sun City saa hizi Sun City niko na niko na eka 2000 za guko nimeweka hapo imetosha na hivi iko karibu kuanza kuzinini huko tulienda tuka terrorize na tukachukua mashaba huko kuna vijana wengi wale walikuwa members wa mugeke kuna wengi wako na lemuru msima wamekamata <laughs> kwa sababu wale waja, wale watu wa South Africa they don't work wanapatia kwa chakula mzugu waliwatengeneza wao wakichukua chakula kutoka kwa serikali so they don't work and that is a process mzugu alifanya to weaken them they don't work so when we went there we were given grants by the government na tukafanya kazi na tukakuwa huko na i'm still there i have own ile nyumba ilikuwa ya the clerk with the former president wa south africa it is my house now in south africa wakati tunataka kwenda south africa uniambie tuende huko So that's the time I nikakutana na mercenaries wale wanaitwa mercenaries nika train na wao sasa na mimi nikakuwa mercenary nikaanza ku train tuka train tuka train nilikuwa nataka kuja sasa kumua president wa Kenya 
I mean, you president. But as you were saying, na kupripe ndio unulise maswali. Ndio na nataka kupatia history yote. Ndio musi ni confuse na mainajeka. Kwa sababu kuna wegi hapa walikuwa nasema. Ni mula onilio yale kile asha. Tini yedi lale. Tini yedi. Ni maina. Maina mekorogo na raira. Ni yedi korogo na ajeso. Mwada ni ya washo. Masiwe sana. So we do that terrorism. And uh, I met a lot of people around there. And uh, the best person I met was Joseph Kabila, uh, the president of Congo. And ukimwangalia vizuri na uniagalia ni kama tuko brothers. Na aliabiwa, your brother from Kenya is here. So he loved me, out of blue. Na akaza kufanya investigation, ama ni baba yake, ama ni baba yangu. Mwenye alifanya maneno, because they used to live in Kenya. Na tuka kuwa marafiki. And he aided me. He kansa kuni, akansa kuni train. Haka nipeka kwa kichaka. Haka nipeka kwa kichaka. Haka jeshi. Utaeda Kenya. Lazima ukuwe president. Hapo hapo ndiyo watu wa Kenya. Dhuru Dani Gekonyo. Waka sikia ya maneno nafanya. Waka tumwa. Waka kuji waka nitafuta. Waka nirudisha Kenya. Kesi yagu ikaisha. Bwana Yesa sifia sana. I want to tell you. When God process is on you. You are harmless. You are hopeless and you are useless when the process takes over you. You are effortless. You don't make any moves. You don't make any decisions. God makes decisions. And these decisions, because where God penyani mepitisha kubuka kutoka kwa kipi, kwa maubwa kukuja, baka kandita kwa purupit. Bwana Yesu sifu sana. Nini wachugaji murioba? I know some of you najua wegini wa wapa. Wapa murioba kukuyu mama na wegini. Murioba warugi ya kufe. Kwa sababu nilikuwa aminas. I was bad. I was not good person. Na wajiopa. Na kafuka. Na kisema papa tunakuoba. Tuadole yu mutu. And the more you prayed, the more I became strong. Because I was a seed from heaven. And the more you tried to cut me, the more I continue to grow. Because I'm a seed. Just like you, the way you live. They have tried to destroy you. They have tried to fight you. They have tried to bring you down. But the more they try to bring you down, the more you become that seed of God. For you to become that seed of God, you must go through because God uses testimonies. He doesn't use intelligence nor education. He uses testimonies. Me, I am a testimony. I don't preach. I just go and stand and be a vijana wote agaria mimi. Muna nikubuka, eh, nirikuwa nini? Wa mugeke. Do I look changed? Do I look smart? Do I look okay? Yes. Who, wangapi wangetaka kunifuata unaona watu wa minuwa mikono na ambia semeni buwana yesu, buwana yesu nimekuja kwako, unakuja kwako unakuja watu miabiri wa miokoka immediately, hapa tukitoka saa hii hapa tuwede hapa kwa ikaraji, ikuwa panyuma lazima kukoke mtu because I, I don't preach I will just give them a testimony and that is what God gave me mugu alikupatia giftigine wewe utumie hiyo na mie kanivatia yago nitumie then that's why God is using me to come and reach you ni kuambia hapa kuna madhabahu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ni kuambia ile muru tulichicha busi. Ile muru tulichicha mangombe. Ile kitu nilifundishwa na wale wazee wa kwanza. Hiyo ya kujija mabusi na kukuchiki ya mangombe. Mkila mahali tulishikamata territory. Territory ya muru ni yangu. That is why you can see this is the only mega church you have. Hello? This is the only what? That you have. Indio, he can say that we are not a son. We are Because we did sacrifices. We raised altars here. Our grandfather was here. Mau mau fought. Kuna ule mzee naito kwa kia kwa bera. Bera alikuwa nani? Ni mukanga ule mukupwa son. We are not a son. So when I come here, I come here to bring, to bring this together, together and, then and then remove the, the curse because, because they are cast. Bwana <laughs> Sasa waka imagine na mimi likakamatwa nitakuwaje. It was a propaganda warfare. 
but it was bad. So those are altars that speak in our lives. Going back to the underlining words, we were seven Mungiki leaders and uh, there were seven Maumau leaders. The oath that I gave to Mungiki members word by word was the same oath that was given by my grandfather. Word by word because nimekuja kutafuta nimepata documents zake nimezipata niko nazo. Word by word. Kiugo kwa kiugo ile nilipatia vijana ilikuwa ile ya, ma, ya baba. Watu walioniona wananiona na wananijua wale walijua huka wanasema alikuwa anafanana exactly na mimi alikuwa anaongea kama mimi alikuwa anatembea kama mimi na alikuwa na ushaba kama yangu. Sasa hapo ndio nimesoma Biblia juzi nikakuta buku kitabu ya Jeremiah moja mstari wa 4 inasema before yeah before you were born i knew you before you came to the womb of your mother before your father and your mother came together you were still known so meaning before your grandfather and your grandmother came together you were still known before your great grandmother and the great grandfather were together you were still known so how old are you How old are you? Even you still exist in those days. So how old are you? So nikiwa mungiki, when I became mungiki, how old is this man that was operating in your life? This man. It was not me. It was a very old, the ancient of the ancient. That is what you nakuta characteristics zako wewe. Kwa sababu kuna wachukaji nyingi wewe ni hapa. Nyinyi ni wagaga. Na wengine ni wachawi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa sababu foundation yako ni ya uganga. Mimi when I was operating in Mungiki, I thought Nura. It was Warege, the original. Behavior and character and movement and spirit. Bana Yesu asifiwe sana. And that's all what I operated in me. The seven Maumau generals were the seven Mungiki leaders. And we operated. And they parted at some point. Like now I don't see eye to eye with my Najenga. He's my first cousin. But I don't see eye to eye. Same as Waringe never saw eye to eye with Kimali. But yet they were fighting for the freedom. You see how the altars work? That's how the altars work. Not until you dismantle, you disconnect yourself from the altars that speak in your life, you are still always to operate under the same. Hata uokoke, hata ukue bishop, hata ukue anointed, no matter how anointed you are going to become, you are still going to operate under the same foundation because you have not cut the umbilical cord. Ezekiel 16 chapter verse, uh, chapter 16 verse 1 says, "My son of man, tell Jerusalem her abominations. Go and tell Jerusalem her abominations." Because Jerusalem was suffering. Jerusalem had the issues from one issue to another issue. There were warfare, diseases, and many things that were happening in their lives. So son of man Ezekiel was told go and tell Jerusalem her abominations and he told them your nativity and your origin is of Canaan land of Canaan so why will he say why will God want you to know your nativity and your origin why and he tells you the name exactly is the land of Canaan praise be the name of God So you go back to your to your book and your knowledge and you will discover who was Canaan or what was Canaan and you find Canaan is a son of Ham. Ham ni yule aliyelaaniwa kwa sababu ya kuona nani? Uchu wa baba yake. Lakini kwa sababu walikuwa wameingia ndani ya Sabina hakulaanika. Aliyelaaniwa ni nani? Ni mtoto wake. Canaan. So Jerusalem is built on a land that is associated with a curse. So how do you expect that land to grow? How do you expect that land to have peace? The words that were spoken against this man that aliona nakedness ya baba yake, those words are associated with his name and this name now the land Jerusalem imekuja imejengwa on that. Then it continues to say your father is an Amorite and your mother is a Hittite. Those are part of the abominations. Your father is an Amorite Then you go back to do your research and see who were the Amorites? What was their role? What was their characteristics? Who were the Amorites? Walikuwa nini? They fought people of God. 
So your father is an Amorite, a person who faced God. And your mother is a Hittite. Who is an Hittite? What do you call a chari? Nawarogi. And the day you were born, your novel cord was not cut. So who are you? Now, Baba yako ni, mucha, ni, ni mpinga mungu. Mama yako ni mchawi. Umeka kwa mchaga. Abawi miraniwa. What is the product you? Nisho. What is the product you? It is a cocktail of, a, of what cannot be understood. So, now, and your novel code, and cutting of the novel code was to separate you from your origin, from where you were born. So it has not been cut. It is still intact. So you are still, you are carrying a curse, you are carrying um, a rejection from God, and you are a witch. Then you become a bishop in church. What will you do to people? Even if Warenge gets saved, you still fight him. Because you are part of the fight. Even if God, Warenge comes and tells you, God, Warenge, ni miyokoka, utaziti kusema apana, this man cannot get saved. Kwa neno, wakati wadianza kunipiga, walikumbuka wakati niliyokoka waliniambia waliniambia wimba moja. Niko chini ya mamba, mamba juu yangu, Yesu nifiche. Mambi ya dui zangu. Yesu niko chini. Imagine Christian. Nimesema niko chini ya mwamba. Lakini at some point walisema aje ugiona huyu dere ya roho lako timuhonoku ukiona huyu hajauliwa na watu wa mogeke hajaokoka if that's what you say because you waited for one week you waited for three weeks you waited for five weeks i never died the conclusion of uja ukiona huyu hajauliwa hajaokoka so kwa hivyo measurement yenu ya kunipima kama nimeokoka ni wakati munge nitaramusha kwa shimu Umugela hujeri yono? Umugela hujeri yao? And that's a hypocritical life of a Christian. You see this, but you believe in a different thing. Because they believed my death would prove my salvation. Then why was I to get saved? I'm supposed to get saved so that I can come and tell you the other world, dunia yu igine, iku na mnagani. Because I have gone. I'm the only one person in this world who has been able to get a free mason. I went there to cancer Kupora. I got a bit in the gold. 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 Tuka abia na kare kanyuba kare kamefugwa. Kana izakua kuna kitu mzuri. Tuka kapiga tufu. Kuka kapiga kulitoka sekeretoni tatu. A man tuwa nyama yako zote. Alafu ubakisha tu macho. Tatu zilikuja. That is the only time I was able to run. Useni boru tu kiekwa pamoja. Nigeda ni mugwajia kikuja. It was tough. It was tough. And uh, that is the nature of a human being. Because God wants you to go through. I have a testimony. I have been there. I am a terrorist. I am all over the world. I have met 37 country, uh, presidents in the world. I, Osama bin Laden was my good friend. There's a point. You can Google there. When uh, this time I was a Muslim. I Ibrahim Dura Warwinge. Now the first person I encountered to meet after Muhammad Kubwa and Sheikh Dor and Sheikh Ahmin and we stayed there with him. He started in the class to train you a radical. From there, I was taken to the moment of Gaddafi, a private jet, picked me from the airport, took me to Libya. I sat down with him. From there, I was taken to Saudi Arabia. I met the king of Saudi Arabia. And they were so happy because the agenda that is now being fulfilled now of the Abuja declaration 
it is the most dangerous kuliko hiyo mnasemanga shetani ashidwe ndio mtajua mjui sasa i was part of it when it was discussed in abuja and i was shown the plan they have to make africa a muslim state and the plan was to increase their population recruit as many people into muslim and make sure they co- they capture every territory and when i came a muslim they found a gate to central kenya because in the muslim declaration kule abuja they singled out wakasema the kikuyu land if you capture the kikuyu land you capture the nation others they will fall suit it is the people who can reject who can fight you back are the kikuyus so when they saw a kikuyu a prominent school in the name of ndura they were happy walisema takbiri allahu akbar and i was given direct prominence and before Gaddafi died he was to give me 500 million dollars to come and build a mosque every 5 kilometers in the central kenya that is how they capture territories they capture with altars nyinyi mukikapcha na kupigana na kuobeana kanisa hii hapa kuna kanisa yule anaobea huyu akufe yule anaobea huyu akufe ile pesa mingi nimeahi kukula kenya hii ni ya wachukaji hello nikiwa mugeke na ndio naanga sikuagi na uoga nikisema kuhusu wachukaji because i know you the pesa mingi nilikula ni ya wachukaji huyu mchukaji amefungua kanisa hapa na mchukaji mwingine amekuja pale huyu anatoa sadaka yote ananipatia tuende tubomoe ile kanisa na tutabomoa na tulibomoa zile makanisa zote ulisikia zilibomolewa ni sisi na ni ni sadaka yenu ina ma 10% tulikula so <laughs> nikiogea na ogeka with covid face because nitakutambua nitakusikwa nitakwambia kumbuka ile siku ndidika na mudenye ole Bwana zivue sana. Lilika nake. Mwadanyo ole. Unakuta mtu amekuja mkia ameweka hapa. <laughs> Bwana Yesu azivue sana. So I'm talking about the altars. When I became a Muslim, they want to build mosques around because they want to capture. A territory is not captured by prayers. A territory is not captured by libakuda, limakanda, limakoria. No. A territory is captured by altars by destroying the altars existing that is what we call a destroying territorial altars then you build a new altar in your territory to conquer the territory you can't conquer territory by prayers prayers will support the altar the sacrifices that you do and that is what we do to capture territories That is what we did to capture Islands. The whole island mali kuna ito Morem Dadora. I subdivided that land. It was not my land. It was land belonged to Kiambu Dadora. Na nilienda nika tukachinja mbuzi tatu. Tukamwaga damu, tukachanganishana na udongo and we captured. Na nilikatakata na nikatengeneza certificate zangu. Eda huko mwenye ako na certificate za hii. Agalie certificate. It's my signature na shamba sio yangu lakini niliishika na damu ya busi the same thing we did here the same thing we suppressed here we did it we did nakuru we did nikiandutu we did muranga we did everywhere we captured with that an altar when the mau mau were fighting the first times the first days of fighting they were defeated because they were using yes an altar of the kekoyo and the mambi facing mount kenya but they discovered they're not going anywhere until they discovered musungu amekuja with a big god the god because they say gai wa gai sio the katikati kwa tugaka musungu alileta bible alileta bible and gai wake gai munene wa gai sio the lakini mimi mwekoyo nilikuja na gai wa kerenyaga so mosoko alikuja na gai mone na wadi na gai wewe wako are you getting me so when the muzungu came with the bible he came with a god who is bigger who owns even my god 
So that's why Musuku was strong, and that's why they were able to build altars, and they ca captured Kenya under territories. And they subdivided themselves. AIC ikaingia ukambani, and they captured ukambani. PCA ikaingia kwa wakikuyu, and they captured ukikuyu. Orthodox uh, Methodist ikaenda kwa Meru, SDA ikaenda uko kwa Nyansa, and they captured territories using the Bible. And they build altars there. Na PCA wakati waliijega, waliijega kwa mufano na mia na tamaduni za mkikuyu. PCA is not led by bishop and pastors. Inaokosa na wase. Wakikuyu walikuwa nafanya nini? Wakikuyu ndi walikuwa naogosa. Until these kikuyus discovered we cannot be able to fight this God ya wazugu diyo walika wakatengeneza kanisa inaitua independent church. They lifted their altar. Bwana Yesu asifu sana. Wakainua madhabahu wakaipeweka into the same level na ya mzungu ndiyo waeze kupigana na ye siku kama mnanyelewa am I sounding like I'm, pre I'm preaching ama napiga makerera tu na hala mwa kinyamona ni data rai ni mkajira nikewa ndiyeda kuhigula bibiria sijajua bibiria sana nasa naeza kufugua ni kubabia ni jeremia na kubabia ni kubabia ni exodus <laughs> so na hapo di huyo mtu wanasamanga sheke wa kefiru, haka wambia, lili ya vigila wagitho ugolikia wailera, uga akuwa na oreke. When they will build, that's where the independent church is. The original independent church. Wachana na hii ya mabishop ya squeezy wa wapaga. <laughs> na siogelei mtu. <laughs> Wakati kanisa ya independent ilijengwa githo goli na ikakamilika. That is when the independence of Kenya came. That is why every president in Kenya must be associated with the independent church for him to ascend to power. The independent, independent church controls the altar of the Gekoyo. And for that matter, they control the nation. Ruto sacrifices zingi zake alitoa kwa independence. Sima kanisa igine. He did sacrifice. Iyo pesa alikuwa na leta, it was sacrifice. He was sacrificing. He was, raising alt he was ra raising altars. So territories are not captured by mouth. They are captured by sacrifices and raising altars. And you can only control a region by destroying the existing altar and building a new altar. And that is why Muzungu, when he came, he led people to salvation. Na Komaruta, Kuambia, Kana, Ukatae Maneno ya Kwenu, Akakueka Maneno Igini. You have to renounce. For me, when I got saved, I had to renounce Mungike for me to get into another territory. Because you cannot be able to operate in two territories. When I captured these lands, niliuza hizo mashamba na wakristo wakanunua wakajenga makanisa. Right now, before I went back there to renounce what I did, makanisa zilikuwa ni kubwa kama hii, lakini kuna watu ishirini. Na right opposite hapa, kuna kabaa, kadogo, katenu, kama toshana kutoka hapa, mbaka hapa, kabaa kadogo. Inja kumepakio Mercedes, inja kumepakio Rejirova, magari makubwa makubwa, na watu wamejaa kwa hako na wengine wamekaa ije. Na right opposite ya church, with 20 people, na hakuna hata mtu wako na baisikeli, wako, wato wako na slippers. Na kuoba maobi ya kusiku na mchana. Rika baba baria baba shaira ya 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 ya. Yote wanaomba but nothing is happening. But right opposite there is a bar that is thriving. Why? Because the altar that is speaking, it is a mungiki altar. A mungiki altar. An altar of evil. So you come on and yelewa. What you build this land, hapa kanisa hii mejegwa, ilikuwa ya nani? Who was here? Mwenye shaba alikuwa nani? Kama mwenye shaba alikuwa mugaga. Na you have not renounced. Then shaba ni ya mugaga. So whatever that is happening here, it is activating the spirit of a muganga, not a spirit of God. So whatever they did, huko Islands, we were controlling. And the more they continue to do, to do whatever they were doing, I continue to become rich. Let me give you a good story. When Michuki was in power, he decided 
to help us. I spoke to him. Nikamwambia msudi tunajua niliyoko kae. Baada ya kuwa ha watu wacha tuwasaidie. Mishuki ananiambia no mudere. Nikamwambia yes, I can talk to them. Then they called Mwangi wa Equity na akaambia can you give us this amount? The government will put in your account. Then you will be loaning these people. Then they gave a project to tununuliwe magari. We get cars, bus za matatu. Remember I am out of Mungike. I'm not doing sacrifices za Mungike. Sichinji makondo sinji ni niko kanisani. So we organized and the 500 million was released. And we identified the body builders here kujenga hizi mabasi huko industrial area. So the day the money was to be released I was called by the mayor of South Africa Pretoria because they're the one who had to partizo mashamba to go and sign a, a, some some document because of uh, being given um uh naitangwa incent kuna vitu government inapatia nanga yeye nimepotea kidogo eh so yeah grants grants as for the grants to be given because the government supports you 100% so that i was to sign e kitu ya equity na mwangi na michuki on thursday on tuesday i was called to rush to south africa because the president was to sign and i was to be there the mayor of pretoria calls me so i get into the plane immediately nikateremka south africa nilipofika south africa jacob jacob zuma na wakakuwa wameenda to another province so i was told to wait for wednesday signing so wednesday signing then it was said he signed akiwa huko akasema no need of meeting them bring the documents na ikakuwa hivyo so the mayor calls me akasema even there is was no need for you even coming because he has done it he has signed kwenda kwa airport kuangalia ndege ikasemekana leo hakuna ndege inaendaka kenya that is wednesday and the signing is more ndege hiyo itapatikana ni ya thursday jioni the signing is morning satatu then in sathas they may fika i've tried to raise to stop the signing in katalika because the meeting has been set naye mainajega alikuwa KICC hapo chini kuna mkao inaitwa tintin that morning and uh, niliuliza nikauza mlikuwa mmeenda kwa kufanya nini atimaini alituambia tuamuke tuende tintin tukakunywe chai so wakanitafuta wakanitafuta nikakosekana nilipokosekana michuki akauza simtafute yule mwingine yule mwingine kupigua akasema akauza uko wapi akademi ni akasema niko hapa KICC sitting tin akamwambia ingia Harambe house na akaingia na akasaini zile magari anatembeaga nazo ni jasho yangu why because i had moved out of the altars za mungiki so i will not benefit from the altars za mungiki that is why i had to be removed taken to south africa only to meet the heir and come back when it is too late find the owner of the altar i may say you cannot conquer here if the owner of the altar is still alive and the altar here has never been broken your church will never grow hata uite Yesu namna gani your church will never go you must destroy the altars of Mau Mau you must destroy the altars ya Modulisho na kwa kwa bera he is a mchawi alishika hii territory najua venye tulishika ni mugaga hii territory tulizunguka na tukaishika that is why every time you try to raise no number beyond 200 here no number beyond 200 because we suppress the altar ya ukristo tukainua altar ya mungiki and our fathers the great grandfathers and that is the message i brought to you for this angalia remuru is known worldwide because of butter but it looks a slum where there is evil altars poverty thrives the church will never grow church ministers will fight because the the altar will not allow you to settle bwana yesu asisani hallelujah so i came to tell you that and i want to finish by reading the book of jeremiah jeremiah chapter number 1 tumalizie na chapter verse number 10 number 9 and 10 niwache kuabo sana 
ndio niende nikahubiri kule Nairobi um, we also read chapter 22 a bit and uh, verse number 9 says of chapter number 1 then the lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the lord said to me behold i have put my words in your mouth see i have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant for you to succeed you must root out to pull down destroy the existing altars you must you can't win this battle you must bring down and once you after bringing down you raise a holy altar here and the church will thrive that is what we did with the islands and i did it with bishop harrison nganga he's my spiritual father and the day we did it one month later the president uhuru kenyatta na tukakaa chini na tukakaa na wenye shamba the original owner of some shamba we went we did a sacrifice again and immediately the president agreed to prepare title deeds for those plots right now they have title deeds for that some work on title deeds and the others they are being prepared and then they were told because this land belongs to Giambunda Dora all the plots zikagawanyishwa zikahesabiwa zikajirikana ni ngapi wakafanya hesabu kwasemeka na kila plot walipe shilingi 1000 wenyewe wapatue pesa wakuwe free and that is what happened and the plot there now is worth 4 million hallelujah bana yesu asifiwe sana i want to tell you ndio nimalize kabisa i want to show you let's go to chapter number 22 and listen to the power of the soil that you are seated on i know I, i did not come to teach you but i'm just trying to see to it lead uh, to to see up chapter verse number 24 a message to konaya chapter 22 verse number 24 as i live says the lord though konaya the son of jehoiakim king of judah was the signet ring on on my right hand yet i will pluck you off and i will give you into the hand of those who seek your life and into the hands of those who face you whose who whose face you fear the hands of nebuchadnezzar king of babylon and the hands of the chaldeans so i will cast you out with your mother who bore you into another country where you were not born there you shall die but the land to which they desire to return there they shall not return is this man konaya the spies a broken idol this is god speaking is this man konaya a spies broken idol a vessel in which is no pleasure why are they cast out he and his descendants and cast into the land which they do not know o earth o earth o earth hear the word of the lord thus says the lord write this man down as childless a man who shall not prosper in his days for none of his descendants shall prosper it is a story that was spoken to by god jeremiah was told to go and speak and tell conaya speak to the soil not conaya jeremiah was sent tell speak to the soil o earth o earth o earth write this man down as a man who will never prosper in the koyo we come back to the koyo o girozo role teli and how do you expect to prosper how do you expect to grow o gedoro ne teli wadoro ne mutumia wadoro ne muduri wadoro ne nyoba wadoro ne gari wadoro ne guo wadoro ne besha because teli ni kwehe na kaji dejo bana siwe sana I beg to leave. I beg to stop from there. I have more stories I can to give, but time does not allow me. I hope one day we'll meet Mo and have a a lengthy discussion. Yes? Sorry? Yes. If somebody has a question you can ask now. Na ukiulisa 
somebody else, don't repeat it again. Kama mtu mgini ya miurisa, don't repeat it. And forgive me if I have offended you. Apostle, mimi sina suwali. Hmm. Kwako. Hmm. Maneo mea sumuza ni mazito sana. Ngelipenda ni jue hasa moyo wako na kusudi lako vile Mungu alikunenea ufike hapa yes ni vipi tutaukomboa huu mti sasa thank you somebody else a question yeah you'll be given yeah bwana sifuwe sana naitwa pastor Mungai ah uh, mimi ni mhuduma hapa kanisa liko pale juu uh, for one congratulations we are happy for you Thank you. Ah, todo toti hono kagia mudu and gaino hono kanagia. Mhm. And you are we are happy for you to be in the kingdom. Ah, uh, I have three, maybe one question. Yes. Ah, uh, from what I've gathered from all what you have said and how you have concluded ah uh, that we need to destroy altars mm -hmm. and a sacrifice is to be offered. Yes. To destroy that altar mm. then in your discussion you are like uh, not through prayers then you can can you tell us how to go through it thank you uh -huh. somebody else yes uh, when it happens that a church has bought a prod and before you they start dedicating and they go through they go loud and they offer even a sacrifice that they want to as they start the building that God will be involved uh, isn't that renouncing whatever was done that dedication is meant to whatever that prot was meant before it is now going to be dedicated to the living God and they start building the the sanctuary for God. Yes. What is that? Let me let me let me answer those two, three. Uh, can somebody turn to the book of Genesis 22 from verse one? Genesis 22 from verse one. Uh, it will give us a clear picture of the question, both questions, the three questions. And it will help us how to do and how to understand because it is all about understanding how you do it. It's not about what you do, it's about understanding what you are doing. Verse number 22 says, Abraham faith is confirmed. Verse, chapter number 22, verse 1. Now it came to pass after these things. Underline that. Now it came to pass after these things. Ask yourself, which are these things? It came to pass after these things. What were these things? Uh, God tested Abraham. So God tested Abraham after these things. I want you to go and research, because you are men and women of God. Research which are these things that he underwent first for God to start a test. Abraham, uh, God uh, tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham. And he said, here I am. Then he said, take now your son, mark number one, your son. And number two, your only son. And number three, whom you love. So it is not only, it's not any son. It is not any sacrifice. It must be a sacrifice. It is God asking him take your son. So, statement number one, any sacrifice given does not come from your bishop or your pastor. It is God who instructs. Take your son, your only son, and this sacrifice must be specific, right from God, not from man. And he said, Here, uh, take your son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and over him there as a burnt offering, one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. He was told, go to Mount Moriah, Mount Kenya, Mount Kenya, go to Mount Kenya, 
in one of the mountain inside Man Kenya where I will tell you. So not every mountain is a mountain. Not every thing that you do is everything. He was instructed, go to Mount Moriah. But at Mount Moriah, there is a mountain which I will tell you. Hello? Are we getting me now? So I'm giving you the formula of what you will do. So Abraham rose early in the morning and he sandaled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and he split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which God had instructed him. Then on, that, on the third day, hallelujah, so he reached there, but on the third day, his eyes opened and he saw where God wanted him to offer sacrifice. So this must be done, not immediately like, tumekuja hapa, tunaambia na tuwaje kuruta yogo napana. We must go to prayer first and ask God, how do you want us to do? And where do you want us to do? So after three days of staying in the mountain, he had not been spoken to by God. He said for three days. God never spoke to him. But after three days, God opened him and he showed him where. Then after he was shown where, he left the two disciples, the two boys, he had called the donkey and he went with his own son with the firewood. Once they were there, the son asked the father, where I can see wood, I can see knife, but where is the, good, the, 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 the sacrifice? God told him, God shall provide for himself a sacrifice. It is not your desire. It is not your plan. It is not your argument. God provides. It is provided by God. So don't go sit down. No, that's an offering. God will speak to you and he will tell you what to do for a muru. You are men and women of God. It is not where who will tell you. I have no authority. I have no power beyond this. Then God will speak to you. You, have, you are prophets. After three days, the eyes were opened. So you have to go into prayers and pray and see. And therefore, text me. And after he did all that, Ariadua Tan, Nakangaria Kwakichaka, Akapata Buzi, Imeshikwa, Horns. So whatever that you're going to give, it is hidden somewhere. It is hidden in your hearts. It will just spontaneously come out and you will make a decision. And everybody will agree with that decision. If you go to Jeremiah 35, then in the house of Rechabites, now I want, I want to connect it so that you can understand why is God coming in? Why is God so much involved in the Muru and giving you what to do? The sons of Rechabites, Jeremiah was sent and told to go and take them into one of the house of the Lord and then give them each a glass of wine. Is that, is that also? And give them each a glass of wine. And when they were given a glass of wine, they said, no, we were told by our father never to drink wine, never to plant vineyards, never to build a house, that we forever live in this land in tents as sojourners so that we can live long. So who are that? Is that a blessing or a curse? You are told never to go to Shamba, never to work, never to build a house, but to live in a tent as sojourners so that you can live longer. Is that a blessing or a curse? So, Jeremiah was sent by God to go and tell them to drink a cup of wine. But that cup of wine has provoked a human, test, a human command, a human binding that never do this. And they obeyed that. They knew Jeremiah was a man of God. And they were in the house of God. But they, 
decided to disagree with the man of God and they chose to agree with what their father said. When words of human becomes powerful than God. The reason is our father said never to do this. Why had God sent Jeremiah? Because it is only Jeremiah God who knows what is eating you. It is only God who knows what is happening in the moon. The altar that he speaks here, only God knows. Only God can tell you what to change, what to do. The wine that you were told to do was because when they drank themselves and God, the, the man was disappointed. So he left a curse. So how are we going to live? Mutaka IDP. Those were the first IDPs in the world. And it's only God knew why this man stopped them from this. So he sent his servant to go and let these people drink. So it is only God that knows the Muru imeshikwa na madabahu gani. So he will use you to speak, to do and to cancel that which the devil has planted here, that which we already planted here, that which we have been planted here, that which our grandfather, hapa kulifanyika maovu, bata hii kabuni ya pata, sirikuwa ya wazungu. Eh? Sirikuwa ya wazungu. Wazungu walitumia watu, waliuwa watu hapa. Walifanya madhaba hukubwa. Also understand the gates zote, the gates are hapa. Understand the rally is just here. Understand the muru, wazungu hawa, Wako hapa, hapa ndiyo kuna madhabahu ya Freemason. Hii gofu hiko hapa. Hii ni madhabahu ya Freemason. Understand the gates. Understand the, the kind of people living you here. Understand the altars that he speaks here. Bwana Yesu asifi sana. Once you understand, I know you are clever. Muntaijua what kind of understand. Agaria level ya watoto wenu. Wanakunya pomba at what level. Angaria waze wenu. Wanakuwa mbaka viwango gani. For how long? When you are, waze the oldest. Nwa miaka gapi. What is the level of premature deaths here? What is the level of poverty here? You will understand what kind of an altar that speaks here. Or what kind of altars that speaks here. Then from there, as men and women of God, you will come together. God will speak to you through you. And he will help you to come out. Have I answered all the questions? Yes, sir.